All right, guys. So today we're going to be taking YouTube all the way back to, I guess, 2016, I think, whenever mystery boxes were like all the rage. We're going to be opening some VAT19 mystery boxes. See what we get. I ordered a small, medium, and a large. Yeah, I ordered this one's a small. This one says large. And then I got this one that says ultra mega box. I don't know if like something got mixed up or like threw in something extra because I ordered like three at once or like, I, have, I have no idea. We're gonna start with, uh, I guess we'll start with the small and then go to the large. It kind of makes the most sense. That 19 is supposed to have some really uh, interesting stuff. What we get here? Looks like we got some candy and stuff. Blow Pop Minis. Some type of candy. Kool-Aid Popping Candy. Elemental Ink Pen. Disappeared by Heat, Reappeared by Ice. Warheads, Galactic Mix Cubes. Nam's Bits, Chocolate Chip. Now are these just regular chocolate chip cookies or what, what are we looking at here? I like chocolate chip cookies. Smash Bubble Gum Balls. Gum balls that look like tennis balls. The Ultimate Brick Maker. Some type of sand or something, maybe. Slabs. Lollipops. I guess some type of like big sucker or something. <laughs> we'll check all this stuff out after we open up all the other boxes. I want to try one of these chocolate chip cookies right now. See how these are. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to eat this entire jar. Now, let's see what we got inside of this large that is supposed to be. A medium. What is this? Metal Earth Huey Helicopter Steel Model Kit. No glue required. Oh, this is like some kit to like build a helicopter, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna have some we're gonna have some doubles. <laughs> I got another jar of cookies that I'm probably gonna eat all of. There's another thing of the uh, gumballs. There's more Kool-Aid popping candy. I wonder if, I didn't think about this. I wonder if with the mystery boxes, like the small you get something, then the medium you get all of that plus something else, and then the large you get all of that plus other stuff. Oh, let's see here. We got a pen, cool bat 19 pen. I have no idea what this is. Keychain? It's like a cup with liquid inside of it. Beat that. The Bonkers Battle of Wacky Challenges. It's like a drinking game type thing or something. Oh, astronaut ice cream. I've always wanted to try astronaut ice cream. Jelly Belly Berry Blue Bubblegum. The brightest glow in the dark wall stickers. Those <laughs> stars that you put on your ceiling that glow in the dark. I'm literally going to stick these on my ceiling above my bed. How is this thing worded? Ultra Mega Box. Let's see what that's all about. <laughs> okay. We got a. <laughs> oh. We got a Feisty Pets. Go ahead and try me. Squeeze back of head. Oh, it's like a. It's like face moves. I have absolutely no use for this whatsoever. I guess maybe we can like put this in a jar of gasoline or something. And there's two of them. I have no idea what this thing is. Oddballs blobfish. I have absolutely no idea what a blobfish is. I guess I'm like way out of the loop. What is this thing? Take a swirl. Rheoscoptic fluid planet. With a free O-ring, put the ball on the ring. Make sure stand is still. Figure out what, what all that's about. Crazy errands. Oh, metallic thinking putty. Play with while you while you think. More, <laughs> more candy. Birthday cake cookie dough bites. Portable LED light up cube. Oh, it's a cube speaker. I thought I thought I was gonna get a Rubik's cube. Color morphing stress ball. Oh, I see what's going on here full of some type of like liquid or something. 
Let's see, gummy donut with rainbow sprinkles. Edible gum gummy donut. There's so much food in these things. Pop Rocks, extreme, super loud, super sour popping candy. Cry Baby Gumballs. Jumbo Rainbow Fruit Scented Eraser. I don't need an eraser. Deck of playing cards. Then last but not least, Confetti High Five. This is gonna be, that's gonna be the first thing that we look at. All right, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped has sent me their new Shears 2.0 nail kit along with the Performance Package 4.0. So first, let's take a look at this nail kit. It comes in a very nice leather package and it's just a simple nail kit. You have a nail file, you have a nice little pair of scissors, you have a nice uh, little pair of nail clippers and you have a set of tweezers. So pretty much everything you need, throw that in a little toiletry bag and you're good to go. So now let's check out the Performance Package 4.0. First thing you get, you get the Lawnmower 4.0. This is a waterproof cordless trimmer. It has skin safe technology, so you're not gonna cut or nick yourself. It also has a nice little LED light so you can see what you're trimming. And it also has a 90 minute battery life. It also comes with this handy little stand that acts as a wireless charger. So you get that. You also get, with that, you get two different guards so that you can trim at two different lengths. Those are very nice. And then you also get a bottle of ball toner and you also get a bottle of ball deodorant. And now for a limited time, whenever you buy the Performance Package 4.0, you get a free, you get two free gifts. You get a free pair of anti-chafing boxer briefs and then you also get a nice leather toiletry bag. So it's very nice. So if you want to check out the Performance Package 4.0 or if you want to check out the Shears 2.0 nail kit or if maybe you just want to try a new cologne or maybe you want, need a new ear and nose hair trimmer or maybe you just need a regular, uh, a new razor, you can click the link in the top of my description and if you use code TUBE at checkout, you'll get 20% off your order plus free shipping. So let's take a look at this confetti high five. I think I think this is pretty straightforward. Well, it's like just some device that you high five somebody in and then you get a little burst of confetti. Celebration more spectacular, I guess. So I guess you just put this in here and then you would put your hand in here. And then since I don't have anybody here, I guess I'll just high five myself. You just Here, let me, let me give you guys a celebration. Wow, let me give you a better celebration. Woo! Now somebody needs to uh, come and clean all this stuff up. Oh, now there's confetti everywhere. Great. Now let's take a look at this uh, ultimate brick maker. It says it's from ages three to 99. Okay, we've got some like molds. And, we do, and it is like some type of it's like kinetic sand. Come on, open up. Yeah, it's like kinetic sand. And then what do you do here? You take this little, put that there, take a little bit of this, shove it down in there. And you make a little Lego brick. That, that's a kind of a, it's kind of a fat brick. Do another one. Oh. I kind of messed it up a little bit. Oh, that's more of a sizable brick. Oh, they actually like snap together too. But then they're kind of like weak from where it's like sand. Interesting. Seven years old. I would eat this up. I would play with this all day. I might play with this all day anyway. Next, let's try some of these ink pens that the ink is supposed to disappear in the heat and then reappear in the cold. Oh, it's got like these little things on it. I don't know what that's about. How do they, I don't know what's going on with this. Are these erasable? Come on, write. Oh, you. Uh, you can't. You can't write real fast. Huh? 
I think they are erasable. So we'll do a little, little blue, a little black, and a little bit of red. And then I have heat gun. Oh, that's cool. It literally disappears right away. Is he gonna come back? Maybe if we wave the paper around. Does it disappear forever? No way. No way it disappears forever. I mean, that's coming back a little bit. All right, and it's all disappeared. I'm gonna go outside where it's cold for a second. Well, actually, I'm gonna let that sit out in the cold and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll see what happens. All right, let's move right along here. Let's check out this keychain. I don't think this is anything special. I think this is literally just a keychain. Yeah, it's literally just a, a keychain that looks like some type of drink that has some type of something in it. Next, we got this little Metal Earth Huey Helicopter Steel Model Kit. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> this, this is uh, very involved. So this is like, this comes with detailed instructions. This is very like detailed. Like you gotta punch out all these little metal things and then put them all together and then you can make a little helicopter that stays on a stand. This is gonna take a lot of patience. I might do this and then like just put it into the video later on or something. Let's see what this is. I think this, I think this is just like some type of like drinking game or something. Oh, this is not, this is, I thought this was just gonna be like cards and stuff. Not at all. This is like, this has like challenges and it has like everything to like do the challenges. And it's got like chips and a timer. And then it's got the deck of cards. Okay, so this, this is like a full kit. That's cool. I like that. Let's try some of these things out. The way that this thing works, I've kind of read through this stuff, and the way it works, it comes with a 30 second uh, uh, timer. I forget what this is called, hourglass, but I guess it'd be a 30 second glass because it's not an hour. Um, you have a whole deck of cards here. All of these cards are challenges based on all the stuff that you get in the box. And then you just have you know, most of the time, 30 seconds to complete the challenge. I'm gonna do a couple of them here. This one is called Edward Cup Hands. Place a cup over each hand. You have 30 seconds to stack four dice on top of each other using only your cup hands. So I need, I think there's dice in the bottom of here. Yeah. So I need a cup for each hand and I stack the dice using the cups on my hands. So we'll put one there and I got to stack the rest of them. I literally do not see this being a problem at all. I think this is going to be easy. So go. Pick that up. Oh, maybe. Easy with like, I don't know. 20 seconds to spare probably. Let's see what, what the other one is. Place four dice in a cup. You have 30 seconds to transfer them in and out. Four dice in the cup and then out of the cup within 30 seconds. I don't think that's gonna be a problem at all. And I'm not even really an experienced chopstick user. Again, with at least, I don't know, 10 seconds to spare, at least. I'm no match for these challenges. Line three cups overhanging the edge of a table. You have 30 seconds to flip them so they all land upside down. So I gotta put them like this, no trouble at all. Oh. 
with like, I mean, what did that take? Four seconds to do that? You have 30 seconds to bounce two balls into two cups at the same time, using only one hand. I can do that, no problem. All right. Come on. May. Come on. Oh, you can't hold it that way. With time to spare, I'm no match for these challenges. This is actually kind of cool. I usually, I'm not the type of person that likes these like type of like weird games like this and stuff, but I think this is actually kind of cool. Even though the challenges aren't really that challenging to me, for some people they definitely would be. So overall, very cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at these glow in the dark stars. Let's see what these things are. Why is it so hard for me to open a, a simple package? Ooh, okay. I was kind of, I was going to be kind of upset. I thought you only got one little, little thing. So you get two sheets, you get a moon, you get a shooting star. You got to peel the star off. Like it's a, like it's a sticker and they're made out of this, like whatever type of glow reflective material. See if we charge them up, see if they'll glow in the, in the daytime. Oh, wow. Now let's turn the lights off. Oh, wow. You can, you can already see how bright they are just from uh, just from being out in the, the open. Charge them up with a flashlight for a few minutes. Oh wow, that's crazy. We can really charge it up, see how bright it gets. Oh wow. <laughs> you kind of, I don't know if you can even tell the difference since the camera's so dark with that one little super bright spot. I am definitely, even though I am 28 years old, I am definitely gonna be sticking these in my bedroom. All right, now let's check out some of this Crazy Aaron's metallic thinking putty. I didn't see that it said metallic earlier. I just saw it said thinking putty. Do you just pull? Oh, I think you just pull. How do you get this thing open? It's twisting, but it's not doing anything. Maybe you do have to, do have to pull. Oh, I see why, why the lid's not coming off. The putty's stuck to the roof. That's why. This putty is very thick. This almost doesn't. All right, so what's the, how do you get this putty out of here? Oh, well that was easy. How come it doesn't do that whenever it's in the, in the tin? There's a little bit more on the edge too. This stuff is like hard, like, I mean, this is not just like a, like a putty that you'd think that you'd just like, I thought, I thought that this would be like the equivalent of like slime kind of. All right, so that's, I mean, that's thinking putty. I don't know how much thinking you're gonna do with this because this stuff is, maybe it's one of those things that just has to kind of like warm up and after a while it'll kind of soften up. But it is, I mean, you can squeeze it as hard as you can and it is hard. It's like a super, super like thick version of Silly Putty. So I don't wanna do with that. So I just remembered our paper <laughs> from the, uh, the pens with the disappearing ink. It never came back and it's been sitting outside in like 25 degree weather. So I guess once you write and then there's enough heat to make it disappear, I guess that's it. It's just done. I thought maybe it would be like a, or I didn't even think, I think it says on the package, one of the downsides to the garage being a mess. Now I can't find the package. Anyway, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive on the package. It says that the heat makes it go away and then the cold makes it come back. Now let's take a look at this, this ball. Rheoscopic fluid planet. I don't understand why this is, I wonder if this is supposed to be, what are you, what are you supposed to do with this? Ah, oh, it says, how to use shake. It is flexible, just watch. It shows like a picture of it bouncing. So I guess you're supposed to like shake it. Ah, uh, shake it and get all like the, the colors moving. It shows a picture. I mean, it kind of <laughs> kind of bounces a little bit, but like not really. It, says, it comes with this O-ring. It says that this is a, a standing ring. Just use the O-ring to just like let it stand still somewhere or something. So that's cool. Nice little decoration. Let's take another look at this stress ball. I don't think there's really anything else to really see. 
with this thing. Oh wow. I feel, I feel like this thing is gonna bust or something. It just seems like one of those one of those type of things. Oh, this isn't oh wow. This isn't like a standard stress ball that like I was I was thinking of. Whenever you think of a stress ball, special instructions. This stress ball is designed for you to stretch and squeeze, but if you play with it too vigorously, the outer skin of the ball could rip. If this occurs, throw away the ball immediately. Contents of this ball are safe and non-toxic. The material could stain clothing. Okay, this is, I, whenever I think of a stress ball, I think of those ones that's like, like a foam ball that you just squeeze. I haven't really pictured that, something like this as a stress ball, but I mean, it's cool. You could probably release some stress with this thing. Okay, that's probably gonna, that's probably gonna break if I keep going. All right, let's go to something else. This deck of X-Ray playing cards. I wonder if these are just playing cards or if there's anything like special about them. Oh, that's interesting. The way they work, you can kind of see through them, but you can't see like what's, what the person has. Regular playing cards just kind of have a cool design to them. Jumbo Rainbow Eraser, fruit scented eraser. Oh, this this really does smell like fruit. It smells like a like a Starburst. It doesn't taste like a Starburst. If you get this, just sniff it. Don't lick it. It smells way better than it tastes. All right, it took a little while to figure this uh, Rubik's cube out, but I think I got it figured out. The sound isn't the greatest, but it does give you a cool little light show whenever you play music. This is this is all the way up, and it's not it's not super loud. Those buttons on the why would I try to yell over that thing? These buttons on the bottom, I thought these were volume buttons, but I guess these change like your tracks back and forth. I guess this button is a pause button. Okay, I guess it's just all the way up by default and you just control the volume with your phone. And it looks like it reacts less whenever the volume is low or lower. Yeah. The louder it is, the brighter they are and the more reactive they are. All right, I kind of like that. I wish the sound was a little bit better, but hey, what can you expect? All right, now the last of everything. We're just gonna do a quick taste test of all of the food that came in all of the boxes combined. I'm gonna start off first with some birthday cake cookie dough bites because I'm hungry. In between uh, clips here, I've already eaten uh, pretty much <laughs> all but one of the entire jar of cookies, which I told you I was gonna eat, and they are they are very good. Let's see what these are all about. Mmm, birthday cake and full of sugar. Those are very, very good. Very good. Oh, I know what I can try. The astronaut ice cream. I've wanted to try this stuff for years. So it's an ice cream sandwich. It's just been a freeze dried. That just doesn't have much flavor. This freeze drying like take all the flavor away. There's a little chocolate in there. I can kind of taste the chocolate. <laughs> the texture of it. It kind of feels like you're eating chalk or like chalk that has been coated in a little bit of chocolate. The chalky type of thing. It's very strange. That is nowhere near as good as I expected that to be. I thought I thought that was going to be way 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 better. This is going to be gross gummy donut with rainbow sprinkles. Can you even eat this? Like is this made to be eaten? I don't know if this is made to be eaten. This is so gummy. I don't see how you could ever just take a bite of that thing. It's so, so tough. Yeah. 
It's so it's just weird. Oh, apparently they come in <laughs> three different flavors. Cherry, orange, and blue raspberry. So this is obviously the orange one. It tastes like it has an orange flavor, but it's like a like orange rubber, I guess, almost. Because it's like so thick and so gummy. It's not like a it's not like a gummy bear type of gummy. It's like a rubber type of gummy. It's so weird. There's three servings per container. A third of this is one serving. Just that little tiny piece that I had that was like maybe, I don't know, maybe like that big. I want to see how you could eat one tenth of this in a, in a sitting. That is uh, something special. Let's try this uh, Slap It's Lollipop. I don't know what, uh, what that's all about. What are we supposed to do here? I don't understand. What are we supposed to do with this? Pull the wrapper off, okay. And the plastic gets all stuck to you. Get off me! Well, what's the purpose of this? Are you supposed to, like, you can't eat this. Are you supposed to just, like, fold it over? Or... I mean, forget about the stick. What do you need the stick for? Oh, this is the worst kind of candy. The worst kind of candy. Uh-uh. Despite what you just saw, <laughs> the flavor is actually good. It actually has a really good flavor. It tastes really good. What I don't like is the extreme stickiness. Like, as soon as I put that in my mouth, I could just feel it sticking to everything. Like, some type of, I don't even know, just like, like the most tacky, sticky coating ever. It just, ugh. I don't like that. I hate that feeling of... Like, like gummy, sticky candy sticking all over my mouth. I do not like that at all. Warheads Galactic Cubes. Cosmic Punch and Rocket Raspberry. Galactic Cubes. Oh, these are not individually wrapped. Any individually wrapped like Warheads usually are. Not even sour. These are just like a gummy candy from Sourhead, or from Warheads. Now, they're a little bit sour. They're a little too gummy for my for my taste though. Other than them sticking to your teeth and everything, the flavor's good. They're 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 the right amount of sour. Kool-Aid popping candy. Kool-Aid pop rocks type of deal. Oh, I got three different flavors. Cherry, tropical punch, and grape. Let's go with cherry first. Mm-hmm. Just like pop rocks. That cherry flavor. Is strong. That cherry flavor like punches you in the mouth. Tropical punch. Same thing. That is, the, these flavors are strong. Went to the tap of fruit punch, wherever that is, and I just drank like the most purest form of fruit punch known to man. The grapes the same way. I don't think I've ever tasted flavors this strong in my life. It's almost making my eyes water. Those are some strong flavors. While we're in the, the Pop Rocks, let's try some of this. Pop Rocks Extreme Sour Loud Super Sour Popping Candy. Savage Sour Apple is the flavor that these are, apparently. They're definitely Pop Rocks. That like side effect of sour stuff that like makes your mouth really watery, then like makes it worse. That wasn't extreme though. Like a normal, like not even a warhead type of sour. 60% of like what one warhead is. I think everything else that we have left is just gum. Tennis ball shaped gum. I just want to bite this thing down. This honestly kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you. That is just, that's just not good gum at all. Maybe some berry blue jelly belly. Let's see what that's like. This is also sugar-free. That does taste just like, like a jelly bean. That's some good gum. Cry baby extra sour bubble gum. And I really, I'm just interested in the green because green is usually, I think these have been melted for sure. So they're like stuck to the package. These are really hard. Like, really hard. That's one of the hardest gumballs I've ever tried to chew. Are these things expired or something? I don't know. I think these things are left in the sun or something. You can see there. Well, probably not that one. 
they're pretty well stuck to the package and they don't really taste that good. And that was like a little bit sour. All right, last but not least, Blow Pop Minis. It's a Blow Pop with no stick. So it is, just a hard candy with gum inside. The green's supposed to be green apple. Sour apple, no sour, no flavor at all. After all that work, you get this little tiny piece of gum. This little tiny, itty bitty speck of bubble gum. That's what you get after you go through all the trouble of eating the candy. That's pathetic. Not even the slightest bit of flavor throughout the entire thing. That's pretty much everything that came in these uh, VAT-19 mystery boxes. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.